Well, IGEL is the Initiative for Global Environmental Leadership, and it is a pen-wide initiative that's uh, based administratively at the Wharton School. We're really a startup organization. We've only been around for a few years now. The first major conference workshop we had uh, focused on a number of different issues. One of them was climate change. There's a lot of things going on in the climate change area. Right now, it's a hot topic. I think it's the number one issue for lots of environmental groups today. Uh, there is some new science that's coming in that seems to be indicating that there are some very serious problems that maybe are coming faster than even some scientists have predicted. Uh, so examples are measurements of glaciers melting. So if that, uh, if that phenomenon is happening faster than many people thought it was going to happen, that's going to be a fairly severe problem for many people. It's not just people who ski, it's uh, people who get fresh water. You have the major glaciers that are melting that feed millions of people there's going to be water shortages, and so that's a big issue. Uh, another event that uh, has heightened attention is the melting of the Arctic ice. So that, again, that was ahead of what many scientists were predicting global climate, uh, global warming would cause. Basically, you can now uh, circumnavigate the Arctic, uh, the Arctic Ocean, and that wasn't possible previously. And my own view is actually that we're probably focusing on climate change to the exclusion of some other very important issues as well. So. I'm not saying climate change isn't important, I think it is, but there are uh, questions of fresh water uh, uh, availability that are beyond, that, 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 are, that are in addition to climate change issues. We are living in a very serious uh, situation where biodiversity is being lost, so many species are becoming extinct. I think E.O. Wilson describes this as the uh, sixth greatest extinction period uh, in geological history. So, uh, so there are a lot, there are a number of other things to be be, be concerned about out there, uh, but all of them kind of come over come under this general rubric of sustainability, and I think that's driving a lot of interest in students as well as the general public about these issues. So there is a tendency for people when you when they start to learn about these issues, to shy away from what the real implications are about these issues, because in fact, if you start to look at some of these problems they are very serious issues for the future. And so I think the tendency for many people, and maybe it's my generation more than the younger generation, but even I, th I think I see it in younger generation too, is you start to look at these issues and they say, oh my God, you know, the world is really ending. And then there's a tendency uh, for people to deny actually that there's a problem. So they'll say, well, you know, that's just environmentalists, it's just gloom and doom. Uh, but if you look at what the science is saying, there are these very serious issues. And if we don't do something about them, and for, for a while now we have not been doing things very seriously about them, they're only going to get worse, which means that the lives of uh, some of you in the younger generation, it might not affect my generation too much, but it'll be your generation, or the generation after that, or the generation after that. And I think that's what people are starting to, uh, uh, starting to be concerned about. One thing that I would try to let people know is to uh, I think when you're living in a city, you're living in, in, in an age of modern electronics, television, video games, etc. It's easy to forget that you are connected to a natural environment that supplies that energy, the materials, the sources. And to the extent that you can get back in touch a little bit, even if you're living in a city with the, the natural world, whether in my case I like to go rowing on a river, uh, or go for a walk with your dog, or whatever works for you. Uh, get in touch with your with your with your with your body and the, and the fact that this is a material physical object that's supported by the the air that we breathe the food that we that we eat etc that that, that would, that's the main takeaway because I think a lot will follow from that and and then people will start to think about how these things affect them rather than to escape and deny that there's anything really going on forget about you know I'm just in my video game so I think that's maybe the takeaway that I I suggest.